All right, guys. I wish I could turn the truck off and get rid of all the background noise, but I have to have the truck running to power this pattern we're moving to. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a good tread over here and here. I just have these two put on. These are worn down a bit more, and I really don't like running tires that are a mismatched size, even side to side, because it makes the spider gears run in the rear end. But there's not a huge, huge amount of difference between that tire and that tire. Probably about an eighth of an inch or so. But this one's starting to get what's called river wear on the inside edge. It's, it's a pattern that you get when you run over the road. It can also be a little bit of an alignment issue, but this, this little weird pattern that you see there, that's called river wear. So this tire is getting down close to the point where it's no longer going to be legal. But these tires are regroovable. Right here, regroovable. So when you're regrooving a tire, you'll buy an extra 20, 25,000 miles sometimes on that tire. So what would what happens is when they when they when they cast the tire when they pour the rubber you've got a lot of tread sticking up here but if you get too much that's had these grooves cut in it it allows too much movement in the tread and it gives you less traction and it makes the uh, the, the it makes the vehicle you're driving handle really bad so they put a lot of extra rubber that's solid and then they have the tread portion sticking way up in here which is probably Right there is probably about what this tire used to be when it was new. Somewhere up in that range right there. So all this is worn down, and then it's got all this clear down to this groove right here, this little ridge that's available to regroove, which is pretty neat because basically that's like recapping your tire without actually having a recap. It's totally legal, it's safe, and it saves you a whole lot of money. It'll take me a few minutes to regroove these two tires. I'm not worried about the rest of them. But instead of having to buy two brand new or even two more used tires, I simply regroove these and I buy a whole lot more time, a lot more life out of these tires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these four grooves deeper and I'm going to cross groove them as well. I'm going to leave the rest because it handles better and quieter when it has these outer solid ridges, uh, especially for an over the road tire. If you're off road, having a lugged tire on the outside is great, but when you're running long haul like I do, a lot of over the road highway miles, you want solid ridges on the outside because you don't end up with nearly as much river wear and you don't have, uh, you, you don't wear your tires down as fast and they're also not as noisy. So we're waiting on that thing to heat up. When it gets hot enough, we're going to start cutting these grooves out. What you have to do is, I don't want to touch it because it's starting to smoke, it's getting hot. That's your cutting blade right there. So you, that screw, you loosen it and you can slide your blade depth. I think that depth right there is about what I want. That's an adjustable part of it. That is cutting a groove deeper into that tire right there. Takes a little muscle. Takes a little effort. But you can see she's following right along that groove. Uh, there's a nail on our tire. Yeah, I see the nail. to that much. That's a significant improvement the tire tread right there from that notch to that notch. And it's that simple and as you can see we're right out here in a truck parking lot. As long as you have a good inverter 
and a heavy duty extension cord. <coughs> As you can see, I got a heavier cord here. I got a 12 gauge. The average extension cord is a 14 to 16 gauge. So this cord is a little bit more expensive, but the heavier wire carries more amperage. And I need amperage to get that head, that cutting head, good and hot on this tire. Otherwise, it takes a lot more muscle than it does heat. You want, you want it to get hot enough to where the heat is doing the work for you. And all you gotta do is just basically guide and push a little bit. Look at the difference right there, guys, between this groove and this groove. I mean, that's basic, that's pushing the edge of legal limits. And there we go, a, a nice deep groove again. And we can actually go deeper than that. That's where I've got the setting set, so we're going to run with that for now. Maybe later I'll regroup it a second time. It's as simple as that. And then when you go through and cut this one, it will cut the ends off of those. Depth. All of that from, from that point to that point. That's how much more tread is now available down in the bottom of that groove. So this is what's left right here. This is what comes out. So that gives you an idea how much deeper this tread is cut. This portion right here. This was the bottom of the groove. It's now that much deeper. Not that much more tread sticking up. Here's another good view, you know. You realize this right here is the bottom of our current tread depth. Couldn't get a hold of it with my finger, so. There we go. Okay. See the end of that. That's how much deeper our tread is now. This surface right here was the bottom bottom is way down in there. It's a full quarter inch more tread just by using that tool. You barely see the shadow right, right, right across there and right across right there where there used to be tread in all these grooves. However, drop down and look at how they're cut in nice again. So right here is one there just like that I hope y'all can hear me okay over this truck running so let's put this in perspective you buy a good used tire well for example these two right here I just bought these a couple weeks ago we gave $200 a piece for them uh, I don't remember, one of the major brand truck stops. Can't remember which one it was now, but they're about, yeah, I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 50% tread. Uh, probably closer to 50% tread on these two tires. And I gave 200 a piece for them, plus the mounting and balancing and disposal of the old tires. Now, take a look at this. Tread on these now is almost as deep as it is on those over there. It took me about an hour to do this regroove. And this is the kit. Okay. This is the head, interchangeable. It comes out. And you can see this one is really wide. This one is fairly narrow. And that one up there is in the middle, too hot to touch. 
These are the blade packs. Three different size blades, three different heads. The width is what it is we're looking at. And here's some, some more extra blades right here. They change out super easy. This entire kit folds up nice and neat. This is a Protector Plano series. You can buy this online for about 130 bucks, okay? So I got $130 and an hour of my time sitting here at a truck stop because I'm doing my reset and I can't pick up till tomorrow morning. Copart's not open on Sundays. So I'm sitting here doing, not, doing nothing other than being productive and saving some money. So if you're an owner operator, this little tool is an ideal tool to carry. Right there's a used blade. You can see what it looks like when it's out of the pack. Loosen the screw, slide it right in, adjust your depth, and tighten the screw back up. But again, if you're an owner operator, or if you're a dedicated company driver like I am, this is something I can get outside and do, get a little fresh air, and save my company money. And I already own that, so I carry it with me, because you never know when you might need it. If you flat spot a tire, let's say you lock them up and slide them, which shouldn't happen with ABS, but just in case you do, truck or trailer you get a flat spot now we're not talking all the way down into the wires but down to the point where it's illegal if you were inspected you can groove just that section and be legal until you can get that tire changed now you don't want to run a tire with a flat spot for long because it's going to beat itself to death it's going to set up a vibration process through the entire axle assembly and it's going to start an odd wear pattern on all the rest of your tires so long term you don't want to run a tire that's got a flat spot but after that it makes a great spare because it's still legal because you were able to use your handy dandy little tire groover <coughs> but as an owner operator let's say you need four tires or you need all eight tires and you're going to buy eight used tires two hundred dollars a piece there's sixteen hundred dollars plus probably in the range of about thirty bucks a piece or more I've seen them up to 60 bucks a piece just to have them mounted and balanced on your truck and that does not include disposal costs now here's what the problem is when you look at a tire like this now here's your regroove depth okay but there's the depth that the tread goes down to inside right there you can regroove it clear down to this little groove right here look at all that tread you're throwing away by getting rid of this tire instead of regrooving and driving again now one of the cons obviously is it is a little bit physical work so if you're a lazy guy and you don't like to put out a little effort then you're not going to like doing this process but the other more uh, practical is that if you're not careful you don't try to keep your lines nice and straight keep your depths even you could end up with a little bit of a misbalance on a tire so if you cut really deep on this side and shallow on that side that side of the tire is going to weigh more than this side now if you've got the beads inside the tire or the liquid balance then it's going to compensate for that anyway but <clears throat> this is a great way you know instead of spending the 1600 for eight used tires plus 30 bucks a pop plus disposal well 30 to 60 to have them mounted you know you're you're two grand real real quick on a set of used tires <clears throat> or you're 130 bucks in a Few hours labor to regroove and buy yourself a whole lot more miles now this one because of the way it's worn down that's as deep as I'm gonna be able to go that's my only regrooving on this one but sometimes you can regroove one twice if you don't go full depth the first time anyway guys just wanted to share this with you hope it helps somebody out there be a little bit more successful financially well worth the effort <laughs>